Uh, okay, so I'll start. Uh, my innovation is smartphone portable eye clinic system, which is for short specs. So this is what it looks like. It's a box, which is a magic box. I have one next to me. That's why my son is here. So it contains some essential do-it-yourself and uh, frugal innovations, which is for eye doctors on the go. Let's look at what is inside that. So if you open that box, you will get uh, smartphones because I'm a smartphone man. I do a lot of innovation smartphone. Then there's a tab because we need bigger smartphones. That uh, first thing we saw was the eye ruler. I'll explain. Then the lenses, including an eye oil. I'll explain that also. Red blue glasses, lit lamp adapter. That's a Caracan mini topographer. I'll go through all of these. Okay, virtual reality headset. This is the do-it-yourself smartphone slit lamp and a plastic bottle. So this is a typical uh, ophthalmic OPD, the eye clinic. Uh, you do a history examination and so on, and go on to the slit lamp examination and the further investigations. So with the smartphones, you can do a lot of the history and examination. So for history itself, you can do in this age of social distancing, um, a teleconference history. And for history taking with uh, People with, of different languages, you have my apps. I have made, I know Tamil, I know Bangla. If you have uh, a difficulty conversing in these languages, this will help. Then uh, you have apps, which you might have seen in the news recently, the pulse uh, and respiratory rate uh, measuring apps, which are there. So you can put all these apps. You can even measure paleric cyanosis if you are so keen on doing a proper general examination. Coming to the off-tail part, of course, the tab is useful now. You have the tab and a phone, which can be used as a visual equity chart, which can be controlled from the phone. These are the apps, iChart Pro and the Peak Equity app. Then for stereo vision, which is usually not very easily available, you can use the red, blue, anaglyph glasses and the stereo equity testing app. And so this uses the random a dot stereogram and it is made for red blue glasses not the red green glasses and using that you can measure stereo equity then for smartphone refraction this one is not my innovation this is from mit uh, dr uh, ramesh raskar this is a smartphone virtual reality headset refraction uh, device this will measure the refraction uh, in uh, of the eye for examination, again, I said the eye ruler is the measurement uh, chart. And with that, you can measure all the uh, doses and uh, interpupillary distance and all the measurements, including corneal diameter. You can use uh, eye turn and eye tilt for uh, head gaze, all, um, abnormal head posture, nine gaze app for the nine gaze positions. And this is one. Uh, this is one uh, interesting thing. Just now we saw one innovation with the slit indirect ophthalmoscope. This is the mini version of that, which I had made uh, during the lockdown. This is, uh, as uh, somebody said, this is a bright uh, 10 watt LED, a nine volt uh, battery and a lens and a slit in between. So you can get a slit for examining the eye. So this is a portable slit lamp and it is made out of a urine sample bottle. This is a urine sample bottle, which I had lying around the hospital. And this is three urine sample bottles, a battery and a switch and an LED. So this is also uh, the universal smartphone adapter and a plastic bottle. We can, this is a hand sanitizer bottle, in fact. We can use it to make a fundus camera. This is by Dr. Prithvi Chandrakan, my friend. And this is one innovation by myself. A Caracan mini top is a mini topographer. This is a Placido uh, a cylinder inside and LED illumination, which I put all around. And you can take uh, topography pictures using that. This is taken using this device. And this is how I have aligned it to the phone to take photographs. And perimetry, as I had presented a uh, few years earlier, virtual reality headset with a smartphone inside can be used for perimetry. So this is the smartphone portable eye clinic system. Thank you. Very nice, Dr. Davis. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'll request Dr. Andrew Methi, who is a judge, to 
you ask this. Thank you, Dr. Harshul. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate Dr. Davis for a very practical innovation. Uh, I have a couple of questions. The first is that we see a lot of app-based uh, uh, smartphone devices, like uh, how reliable are they? Are they validated with the conventional uh, methods what we use in our daily routine uh, OPDs? That's a very good question, sir. When I started doing these uh, smartphone innovations, there were not many validated smartphone apps or uh, gadgets. And uh, what I realized that was uh, there were some small, small errors in many of the apps because of which they could not be uh, as uh, uh, precise as the regular equipment. But now uh, visual equity on smartphone can be as precise or better Color vision is actually better than the low cost Isihara charts, which are available. And uh, stereo equity is precise. Uh, smartphone fundus photography, the resolution is poor, but it is uh, okay. Smartphone anterior segment photography is better than the smart, uh, the regular conventional slit lamp photography. So there are some things which are way better, some things which are okay, some things which are worse. Uh, all in all, I believe that this will only improve in the future. In the coming years, smartphones are going to be very useful and uh, we will be able to do almost everything on a small device. That's the future. Uh, okay. I have another question. Uh, you had shown the uh, sleet lamp device. Yes, sir. Uh, so how sensitive it is to pick up the subtle, uh, suppose we are seeing an anti is how, uh, how sensitive it is to pick up the cells and flare Right, sir. So uh, right now, I do not have a separate magnifier. So what I do is I hold a 20 diopter lens in my uh, left hand and I use this in which there is actually a 78 diopter lens, if you can see. So this produces a slit illumination. This is the illumination arm. And the 20 diopter lens, which I have in my other hand, is the viewing arm of the slit lamp. So I am the slit lamp. So I hold the slit lamp uh, and adjust everything. Uh, maybe, uh, actually right now, I feel that it is not as sensitive as, uh, say, a hack stage slit lamp to pick up cells and flare, but I'm able to see. If a patient has significant cells, I'm able to see. So. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Anil. And thank you. So what will be the learning curve, uh, if I can ask you? Uh, the learning curve of all the different parts are different. For the apps, I think uh, it's just a matter of getting to know how to use the app. It is going to be very easy. For the smartphone funders photography, there is a big learning curve right now, which I am trying to fix with some more. Uh, I I'll get to that later. So that is having a great learning curve. Anterior segment photography without adapter has a learning curve. With adapter is easy. Uh, so yes, there are some Thank small you. things to improve. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, very nice.